Sup assholes. No, we're not starting videos like that. We've tried it. It doesn't work. I'm worldwide known. I'm a boss in the zone. I get it how I Hey guys. Um today I'm gonna be doing something new to the channel. My channel. Today we're gonna I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and it's just a favorites video, nothing special, nothing big. But um I don't know. I found myself really liking a lot of stuff last month. So this is June favorites and we're a little bit late to the game here, but whatever. Okay, my first favorite of the month is my gold Layton Doc Martin boot shoe things. And I am absolutely in love with these. I got these for my birthday from my mother, my lovely mother. And they're just goddamn amazing. I can wear them with pretty much any outfit I choose. And for a while I did. I was wearing them like every day. And I get lots of compliments on them because they're just like gold and they're a statement and it's dope and it's awesome and I love it. So these are my first favorite. I got these off of Amazon. Well, my mom did. I sent her the link, of course. My second favorite is something that I found at the thrift store at my job that I fell in love with and I've been in love with and I would literally wear them every day if it was socially acceptable. Not that I really care, but... They're my overalls, and they're long pants kind, and I just, I roll them up just a little bit. And they're, the brand is Silver Tab, which is like a, a, a uh, Levi Strauss makes it, um, so I know that they're good quality. And they're just really, really comfortable. Um, I think they're like a size large they just fit like comfortably and kind of loose which is really nice like I have some short overalls that are right here and I like them but they're too tight um, for like my comfort level yeah these are awesome and if you look I'm sure you know this already but if you're looking for overalls go to the thrift store before you drop like 40 bucks or whatever it is on the ones from American Apparel it, uh, you'll thank me. And your wallet will thank me. So my next favorite is, um, well, I'll just show it to you. It's just this, like, kind of pretty simple floral dress that I got from Target. Of oh, these overalls were, like, five bucks, I think. Um, I think, I don't know. I think they were, like, five with my discount. But this is just, like, a plain basic dress that I love and there it uh, it like comes in right underneath my breasts so that's really comfortable for me and I really like that fit it kind of like skims over my curves a little better and it has like this crochet sort of not really crochet so much as like eyelet back that I think is really really cute it's by exhilaration it's a size large I think it was like Mm, it was either 25 or 35 which is kind of pricey in my opinion for just a plain cotton dress but I love it it's super um, light and airy and like great for summer and this was actually my outfit for my birthday so um, I'll put a picture from my Instagram up in here somewhere my next favorite which is just kind of like a general overarching favorite would have to be oversized t-shirts and I get a lot of them from my job because they're only like a dollar or something with my discount but this one I just got today at like Big Lots <laughs> I went to Big Lots with my grandma but it's got uh, this little dude on it and I want to say his name is Opie but I might be wrong but he's always like I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today I'll just show you a couple other ones that I have in my dresser. I have this one, which is just uh, the Godfather. This is the first thing I've ever bought through like bedding. Is it called? Is it bedding on eBay? And it's just this Nike Air Max T-shirt. And this shirt says the Beverly Hills, the Beverly Hillbillies. I mean, 
and it says crew on the back and I've just always wanted a t-shirt that says crew on the back. I never really watched the Beverly Hillbillies but I just think it's funny. <laughs> yeah it's so just like oversized tees and like these are all intact. Um, obviously this one is intact because I just bought it but like what I do a lot of times is I just cut them in half into crop tops and I wear them with my high waisted shorts and stuff or I will cut the sleeves out and sometimes I cut them kind of low because I really like that especially now because I just recently got uh, this tattoo where was I? oversized t-shirts they're always really great and they're really comfortable and like the wind whistles through them <laughs> in the summer so they're not so it's just like really comfortable for summer so my last fashion favorite is this backpack purse and it's like faux leather, I think. I got it off of UrbanOutfitters.com. It's Dina and Ozzy. And um, it opens up here at the top with like this little hole that I hardly ever use. And then there's a zipper um, on the back, which is really nice because nobody has access to that while you're like walking around and nobody can steal your shit. But I just, I really like backpacks um, instead of purses just because I like for the way to be like evenly distributed on my back I found that when I carry purses I'm like if I'm like carrying it like this I'll always like be reaching back trying to like get um, trying to get a hold of the second strap which is not there so I just prefer um, backpacks it cost me $14 it was on sale I don't know if it's still there. Um, they had like a blue one in stores when I went, but that was a while ago. Moving on, let's talk about music. Because um, I like music, so why not talk about my favorite music from last month. My first music favorite is um, Mac Miller's Watching Music with the Sound Off the entire album. Okay, we'll just get it right off to that start. I bought this at Target um like the day after it came out i think i wanted to buy the tangible hard album because um i wanted to support mac miller this entire album is just really great it's um kind of sad like he says in one of his songs in the album it's kind of like a like a more mellow kind of like sad type of vibe but it's really really good beautiful music and I love it. And um, one of my favorites is the first single that came off of it, which was SDS or Somebody Do Something. I really like OK, um, which features Tyler, the creator, because that song is just kind of like bumping, like, mm, 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 mm. that's fun. It's a fun thing if you're going to listen through the album. It's like a nice little treat. And then Claymation is really really good too. Those are probably like my, my top three right now. Now we're gonna talk singles I guess. Um, I really like Miley Cyrus's new single We Can't Stop. Um, I love the music video and I just think it's it's a lot of fun. I don't really have anything more to say about that. And then I really like Rihanna's Stay. I was turned on to that in June. And I really, I was just, I was like really feeling it, so. Um, Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines is a lot of fun. It's got Pharrell on it, and I love Pharrell. Like, I love Pharrell. Like, I love him. So, I was really happy that he was a part of that. And T.I. I'm not a huge fan of, but he's good on this song. It's just, it was really fun, and I always have to dance to it. My mom likes it, and my grandma likes it, and I like it, so that's three generations that love this fucking song, so we can't all be wrong. Yeah, and then Lana Del Rey, just in general. You can berate me in the comments if you want to, but I did not start listening to Lana Del Rey seriously until last month, and I fucking fell in love, alright? I did, because how can you not? Because that voice, Lana Del Rey has the voice of an angel. I love her. I love her. Now, that is all for my music favorites. I hope you enjoyed my own personal playlist. Um, I listened to Yeezus. Why are there like 30 samples per song, Kanye?
Another thing that I just discovered last month, didn't just discover, but just really got into, just decided, um, fuck my not liking hyped up things, let's do this shit. And I watched Pretty Little Liars. I love that damn show, okay? Ha! I thought it was just gonna be like about some like rich little girls that were like living their lives, being real shitty people. No, there's like suspense and drama and all this stuff that like everybody was telling me about and I was just like, no. I'm not gonna watch Pretty Little Liars. I don't watch teen dramas. And I really don't watch teen dramas. But this, this <laughs> is a good damn show. I watch like six episodes a day basically. I'm in season three right now. I'm watching it on Netflix and I can't wait. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna figure out how to watch season four up to where we are. And then I'll be caught up with all of my lovely PLL fans and we can talk about what's going on now. But shh, don't say anything about what's going on now yet. I'm not there. And I keep freaking out about like Ezra and Ezra and Arya, and then I remember that, like, I'm pretty sure they're still together in the fourth season, so I'm just like, they're just gonna kiss in the rain and it's gonna be okay. I realized that I really like this show and I really like Skins, and I really like the second generation of Skins, so maybe I just really like shows with gay Emilys on them. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That show's great, okay? If you've watched it and you don't like it, that's fine, but if you have not given it a chance, give it a goddamn chance okay there's a, a woman on there she looks exactly like mariska hargite and she sounds like her too maybe you're interested in that i don't know check that out yeah i'm done that was my diatribe about pretty little liars now this is my last favorite of june my last favorite of the video and it's a food favorite and it is simply frosted I usually don't really eat cereal, but I've been eating it more since I've been home, and I really only ever want to eat Frosted Flakes. But they have to still be like crunchy. Once they get soggy, I feel like throwing up. These are Aldi's brand <laughs> Frosted Flakes, or they're Millville technically, but this is these are from Aldi's, so they're like the off brand, but they're just as good. That concludes my June favorites video. I'm gonna go exercise now so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye if you didn't just like cut random things into the songs they would be good songs they would but mm, those damn inserts don't do it i don't i mean he doesn't care what i think and why should he he's making hella bank so it really sh doesn't even matter but